parents who cut all communication with your adult children because of a new spouse, why and what happened? My father got a new girlfriend, who then became his wife and I haven't heard from him since. Last time I interacted with him was when I was maybe 13. Now I'm 21 and always wonder why he cut contact with me. I speak to my only grandmother, his mum, a lot. I get updates through her on him. I know he had a nice wedding, has two children, brought a house, and got a nice raise recently. I don't think I'll ever get an explanation why he cut me out, but it'd be interesting to see replies on this question. Maybe I could get some insight on his perspective. My cousin cut ties with his daughters when they were four. He and his ex split because of his ex's drug addiction and promiscuity, and since his daughters looked like his ex he refused to see them. Even when CPS contacted him about taking custody of them, because their mom was selling them for drugs he refused to take them, until they told him that either he take them in, or the state will go after his paycheck for their care. He and his new wife grudgingly took them in, but they were treated in a way that made it clear that they were holding them accountable for their mother's actions. Because they looked so much like their mom they even accused them of being willing participants in their own assaults, you know, between the ages of 4 and 6. The words you're just like your mom were uttered often. Over the years, my cousin calmed down and mostly just treated them like housemates. They even bonded somewhat over some shared hobbies. His wife, on the other hand, had a real Cinderella thing going on. The older and prettier the girls got, the more she tried to ugly them up. They were given baggy boys clothes to wear, unflattering haircuts, chunky eyeglasses, and refused orthodontic care despite the girls having teeth like a busted up lawnmower. The words do you want to look like a whore like your mom were also uttered frequently. They both ran away from home when they were 17, moved in with a couple of older friends who happened to be males. This was confirmation to my cousin's cunt wife that they were, in fact, whores just like their mom. So she convinced him to cut contact with them before they came back and ruined their lives with their pimps and drugs. He has had almost no contact with either of them in nearly 15 years because his daughters just happen to look like his hated ex-wife. TL. Doctor. Kids look like ex. Dad can't handle it. And new hambeast of a wife is jealous. My mom and dad were divorced when I was a baby. I saw him every other weekend until I was 7 years old. That year, he met a woman who had two little kids of her own. She moved in with him, and they pretty obviously didn't want me to be a part of it. I woke up on Christmas morning at my dad's house, to find no presents under the tree for me. I sat and watched his girlfriend's two kids open their gifts. Again, I was 7 years old. I never went back, and never saw him again. They got married not long after, I wasn't invited. He only lives about 30 minutes away from me. I'm 29 years old and married now. I could write a book about how ridiculous the situation is. Oh well, my husband's dad is amazing so at least I have him now. I'm in the process of this with my mom right now, but it's happened a few times in the past as well. I couldn't tell you exactly what goes through her head at the time, but she meets these men, marries them within months, sometimes days, as crazy as that sounds, then totally cuts off contact with the rest of the family. The last time that had happened, my younger sister was still living with her and helping pay bills while she went to college. My mom basically told her, I'm getting married, so you need to move out immediately. She always comes crawling back with some sob story a few years later, and one of my siblings always totally falls for it. I think, in a way, she resents that she was forced to raise us after my dad did the whole leave and make a new family thing. I think her way of separating herself from the 18 years that she considers wasted with him is pretending that she didn't have children with him too. Of course, that's just my opinion. There's really no understanding why she is how she is. My biological father did this to me. He had been having an affair and divorced my mom and took off right before I was born. The only communication he gave was to my mom threatening to have me taken away if she fought for child support because he had quickly remarried and would look a lot more stable than her as a single mom in the military. A few years later he sent my mom a letter asking me to write to him and I wrote one letter. 
he immediately called my grandmother, the only number he had, and demanded my mom prove I was biologically his, because I was listed under his SSI or something, and he was trying to find a way to have me taken off. He used my letter to try to prove I didn't know him, so how could he possibly be my father? I didn't hear from him again. His wife sent my mom a letter and obituary when I was 12. He died. Never got to meet him. Wife made sure to point out that I was not listed on the obituary as a surviving kid and it needed to stay that way. She wanted to make my mom aware of what happened but wanted to also make sure I didn't get any notions in my head that I would be welcome at the funeral if I wanted to come. When I was an adult his wife used her daughter's FB account pretending to be her to get in touch with me. I have two younger half siblings apparently. When I realized it was actually her, I blocked her. But to this day I still peek at the FB accounts of my half sister and half brother. I kind of do wish I could reach out to them, but I'm almost 100% positive they have no idea of my existence, and what kind of an asshole would I be if I shattered their memories and ideas of their family, their father, by contacting them and telling them who I am and how this situation came to be. My stepdad, my real dad, is the most amazing guy ever. I even took his last name starting in high school. If it wasn't for him and my grandpa, I don't think I would have had any idea of what a real father is. My granduncle did this to both of his kids when he married a new woman who demanded they be kicked out. They left the U. K, changed their surnames, and now both lead successful lives in Australia, last I heard. This is actually reverse, but my oldest brother, he is 20 years older than me, severed ties from the entire family. My mother had sent his kids gifts for birthdays or Christmas, can't remember, but a few days later in our mailbox they were returned wrapped in brown paper with a hand, written note saying all ties are broken. After that they would leave the grocery store, if any of us happened to enter. If they saw us somewhere, they would drive on by and act like they didn't see us. If we did end up in the store together, they would walk by like they didn't know us. Fast forward 30 years, his wife passed away and now he stops to talk and shows up at family events. My older sister and I are the only ones that are questioning his motives. My parents were divorced and my dad met a woman and got engaged to her two months later. She took no interest in my brother and I or my two children. They got married four months later. Supposedly she's been married at least three other times. It took her about two years to make him stop speaking to us. She convinced him that my brother and I didn't like her and we were always rude and disrespectful. He lost many of his friends and doesn't do the things he loved to do because he wants to make her happy. It's quite sad really. She is manipulative and narcissistic. I'm still in disbelief that this has happened since my dad and I were always really close. Not a parent, but my family had to cut out my aunt and her family from the rest of us. Her husband pulled my grandma aside and said his goal was to tear our family apart. He tried to turn everyone against everyone, but it's pretty damn hard to do that when he only sees us during big holidays. My aunt was manipulated into thinking she wasn't wanted, when in reality we all hated her husband. Their two kids at the time were a bit bratty and arrogant, but that's only because they took after their father. A few times, he would specifically say you're not allowed to hug them when you get out of this car. To them. He's an asshole. I hate admitting that his plan worked with my aunt and their kids, and it's a bit of a sore spot for our family. But I guess we've learned since then not to let random assholes fuck with us. TLDR. Aunt Mary's husband. He tries to tear our family apart. Only succeeds with my aunt and his kids. He's an asshole. My grandfather did this. Despite him being alive still, and the two of us living a maximum of 45 minutes apart I've met him 3 times in my life. The most recent time he confused me with a cousin, who's 2 weeks older, has only called him when she wants money, which is often, and barely spoke to me. I have no interest in round 4. I'm in this process with my dad, and I see it of Facebook. He and my mom started divorce proceedings when I was 15. Visitation and stuff was okay, but once I got busy and his new lady had a kid, stepmom is 10 years older than me, and my littlest sibling is 20 years younger than me, he kinda stopped talking, unless he wanted something. 
he hasn't even asked about my wedding this year, and it breaks my heart a little bit. So this is a bit confusing, but my grandfather we'll call him John married my grandmother, and had three children. He named his oldest boy after himself, John. Things didn't work out with him my grandmother, and he left, and moved from California to Chicago. So that left my father, his older brother John Jr., and younger brother with no dad, John Sr., then remarries and has a new son who he named, guess what? John. John Sr., as far as I know, is still in Chicago with his new family and the other John Jr. Sad end note, John Jr., hash one, my uncle, died in a motorcycle accident in his early 20s. Dad found an overseas bride, 12 years younger than his youngest child. We tried to convince him his bride to be from an economically impoverished country, specifically looking to marry an North American, that this marriage isn't for love or companionship, that they would drain him financially and move on. He told us we were all wrong, severed all contact. That was two years ago, haven't heard a thing from him. My mother's parents cut all ties with my mother after my father passed me a Christmas card in an envelope which turned out to be from her brother's children who lived with his ex-wife, my mother not stopping me from opening this card, when she did not know who it was from, was enough for them to totally disown her, I guess the underlying issue is, that my maternal grandparents were fucking assholes. Our son married a woman from Vermont, a pleasant pretty lady, we thought. She is extreme left wing, super feminist liberal socialist. My wife and I are not very political, we do not espouse our views, however, since we are from the deep south, Dill assumes we are virtual Trump campaign managers. Actually we don't like the guy at all. Since the election last year she will not speak to us, she will not visit or allow us to visit. We have two grandchildren with them, but she will not allow the children near us. We might have guns, we might indoctrinate the children with right wing views. So like all political extremists, she is an idiot. Our son is unable to intervene, he kowtows to her completely. We are not wealthy, but we started college funds for all of our grandchildren. We contributed to them this year, but if something doesn't change it will be the last time. Del is a bully, I don't care for bullies. I guess this is kind of the reverse, but my sister met this guy, married him and left her son at our mother's house basically. Her husband wasn't allowed to be around children, because he is a convicted child molester, so she chose him over her son. Well then they had a daughter together, still not allowed around kids, so they dropped her off at my mother's too. Then she got pregnant again, this one went into foster care. I guess it wasn't so much that she cut off ties to the family as the family cut off all ties to her. No one wanted anything to do with her, or, obviously, her husband. She has since divorced that worthless shit and remarried. She has also mended some relationships with the family. My mother told me that my girlfriend of 8 years wasn't welcome in her house because you know, she's not white. I'm almost 60 years old. My girlfriend is a beautiful Colombian woman who is also my age. Her daughter and my son are great friends, and we are the missing parent in each of their lives. My extended family has all manner of creative, beautiful, not white people in it. I wouldn't trade them for anything. I do miss my dad, and I think he knew it was wrong but just doesn't have the strength to call her on it. My dad and I talk on the sly, but she monitors his phone and email, so it's difficult, and I don't want to make his situation any worse than it is. I used to think that as you aged, you gained some grace and perspective on things, maybe realized how unimportant some things are. Looks like I'm wrong. A very close friend has alienated himself from his two daughters from a previous marriage. He had a daughter with his second wife, and didn't feel his new wife should suffer the financial burden of her stepdaughters. He came up with criticisms, essentially justifications why his first daughters were unworthy. He has no contact with his grandchildren from his first daughters. Not surprisingly the daughter he had with his new wife is showered with attention, college paid for, debts and traffic fines repeatedly paid by him, the indulgence toward this daughter, to the total exclusion of his two earlier daughters is actually very disturbing to me. I actually have a counter story, when I was young my parents divorced, and moved on to different people, my mother has always been protective, loving, caring exactly how mom should be, my dad has always done the same, 
but obviously from a more firm standpoint. Though that's not to say he doesn't have a soft side. He had met this woman whom I can't remember, but she had another kid or two, young like me at the time. Well apparently she said something along the lines of he will never be my son, I can't love him, like I love my own. And to that my dad instantly told her pack your stuff, grab the kids, and get out essentially kicking her out of his life. So having loving parents, ones that would sacrifice their own happiness, to ensure a better future for me humbles me. My dad eventually remarried, and my stepmom for the last 15 years also has been an amazing mom each and every day. My dad cut all ties with my brother a few years back. He asked us whether we had any problems with his wife, and my brother answered truthfully, yeah, I do. My dad told him that it probably would be best if they didn't talk anymore, since if you're not cool with his wife, you're not cool with him. Real mature, dad, especially when you ask us why your son won't talk to you every couple of months. Because you told him not to. My brother was apparently the one to reach out again, after almost 10 years, I think. He met up with our dad, and he had conveniently forgotten about the whole thing. <laughs> Happened to my grandparents. Everything with their eldest son, family of three, my mother being the youngest, was normal. Visiting fairly regularly, on holidays, etc. He was about 30 before things started to go south. A new wife came into the picture, and that's what caused things to go downhill. Started only visiting during Christmas, and eventually cut off contact altogether. Last time I saw him was when I was 3. I'm 18 now. He completely cut off contact with the family not long after. We still really don't know why he was manipulated by his spouse. Last time anyone in the family saw him was couple years back when my grandparents visited him at one of his tennis matches. Not sure what he said, but he was not happy. They left, and despite multiple attempts at contact by my grandpa, no one has seen or heard from him since.